It's almost time to go, Sam. Here. It's a dream catcher. All right. Wear it when you sleep, and I'll keep the nightmares away. I'll always be with you. Amelie, episode two. Let's drink some monster. <laughs> Be better if they were cold, though, but. Sam. Thank you. Now, Bridget may no longer be with us, but her legacy has a chance to live on. Sam, listen to me. America. Reconstructionism. Her dream isn't dead. I don't want to hear it. This is the face of our new hope. Our new America. Okay. Okay. My mother may be gone, but I'm here. And you, Sam, you're here too. Been ten years since you saw each other, right? And in all that time, she hasn't aged a day. He knows why. My body's still on the beach. I don't get to grow older. Mm hmm. But you do, Sam. You look good. So you're serious then about reconnecting everyone and everything? Yes, yes, indeed. -er. Someone has to succeed, Bridget, Sam. More importantly, someone has to carry on her legacy and see our country rebuilt. Samantha America Strand, our new president. A new beginning for our people, for our nation. Under Emily's leadership, we'll reestablish the UCA, the United Cities of America. This is how we'll rebuild our country. But we'll need your help to do it, Sam. No. <gasps> I'm through with this. I said my goodbyes to all of you when I said them to Bridget. We never forgot about you, Sam. You ran away. You cut us off. Emily put together an expedition. The best of bridges won. And went west. Okay. Is that where I need to go? I led them past craters in BT territory. 
I kept them safe while they searched for survivors. Never once, Mr. BT. Saw him coming a mile away. We convinced community after community to join the UCA. And we left behind our own people to help them. It took us three years, but we managed to make it all the way to Edgenaut City. All the way to the Pacific? Jesus. Yeah, but then everything went to hell. The team was wiped out, and Emily was taken. Okay. Taken. I'm not being kept in a cell or anything like that. I'm allowed to use their facilities and to speak with you whenever I want. I just can't leave the city. All right. It's all to safeguard the continued independence of Edgenot City. Well, that's what her keepers are saying, at least. They want the UCA to leave them be. Emily's their insurance policy in case we don't. Who are these assholes again? Homo Demons. Militant Separatist group. They run Edgenot City. I've heard of them. Bunch of terrorists who go around towns killing people and leaving craters. Hmm. Right. Nothing's off limits for them. Not even engineering void outs. God damn it. And they got babies too. You think the suicide that took out Central Knot was one of theirs? Could be. There are extremists like the demons everywhere. Plotting in the shadows. They're decentralized by nature. No one organization to rule them all. Just a common ideology. I know not everyone shares our vision for the future. If we Americans don't come together again, humanity won't survive. I carried my mother's message to people all across the country. But not everyone was willing to accept it. More than a few would rather stay isolated. Keep to themselves. Go it alone. Like you, Sam. They think that America can only be rebuilt by force. By men who tell them what to do. Who take away their freedom and put them in shackles. What'd you put on me, huh? You know better than the demons. Just another kind of cult. They're not shackles, Sam. They're a symbol of our bonds. That's what we need right now. Not to stand apart, but to come together. To form chiral knots and reconnect. Sam, we want you to go west and finish what Emily started. All right, all right. The people she left behind have been hard at work, setting up chiral network terminals. But these terminals are still isolated. We need you to bring them online. All right. And for that, you'll need a qubit. This contains all the necessary security and operations protocols to integrate a terminal into the chiral web. Take the Cupid West, Sam, and reconnect the people of our great nation. And when you get to Edgenot City, find Emily and bring her home. The biggest delivery. After that, I'll take over the presidency and carry on Mother's work to save the country. This was Bridget's dying wish. This is how we'll move forward. Please, Sam. We need you. I'm Sam Porter Bridges now. I'm not a strand. Hell, I'm not even part of this outfit. You all saw to that. I'm not getting involved with you or anyone else ever again. Wait! See? It's like I'm not even here. Same as it ever was. Sam! Sam! Hold on. Stop! Listen to me. America needs you. Both of you. Yeah, covering the world in cable didn't bring an end to war and suffering. Don't act surprised when it all comes apart if you try to do it again. Round and round it goes. Connect, reconnect, it's not that simple. All right, all right, Sam. Just take it easy. I get it. You don't have to commit to anything now. 
Why not get some rest? Good idea. We all need our sleep. Leave it too long and you're liable to reconnect with the other side. The necessary maintenance has been completed. Various adjustments and fine-tuning for your benefit. You can use it again. All right, my baby. For once, it would seem that Dooms and BBs are a good combination. <laughs> or perhaps the two of you have something of an affinity for one another. <laughs> All right. I guess we're bringing this baby with me. Oh, I'm here again. Listen, you are Sam Strand. No, I'm not. Not anymore. My name is Sam Porter Bridges. It's a funny word, Strand. A strand is part of rope or bond. While stranding means being washed up on the shore. And being stranded is when you can't go home. Hmm. I'm stranded now, Sam. Here on the shore of the Pacific. Thousands of miles away. But our bond still holds. You're free, but we're still connected. Don't tell me we're not. Come on, Sam. You can do this, Sam. Was her suit black and red again? That's weird. I'll be waiting for you. We got this, Sam. Sam, this is Die Hardman. You were out like a log. Must have been beat. Private rooms come with all the basic amenities. Shower, toilet, etc. Drop in when you need to rest. Inspect your gear, review info, or whatever else. If you have any questions, feel free to ask our staff. But before you do, why not check things out for yourself? Sweet. See how Bridges operates these days. Check BB. Sam, this is Deadman. I calibrated your BB based on physiological data we collected from you earlier. 
It's still just the best guess, though. After you take it out for a spin, we can check if you're in sync and tweak the BB sensitivity as needed. How do you do that with a living thing? I don't get it. This case will remove any chiral matter still clinging to your suit. Uh, speaking of suits, blue is for delivery personnel, red for medical, orange for corpse disposal, and black for security. Let's go then. Oh, okay. Well, have you had a chance to think it over? Chalk full of Chirelium, but safe for you Dooms guys to wear. That's all you'll need to go forth and reconnect the world. To make us whole again. Mm hmm I'm a porter. I don't care about connecting anything. Or making knots. But I'll do what I have to, to help Amelie out. All right. Let's do this. Listen up, Sam. The terminals Amelie's people built in the towns and cities they passed through on their journey west are called knots. The infrastructure's there, but the Cairo network is offline. Right now, it's only capable of transmitting voice communications. Sometimes wired, sometimes wireless, and a small amount of data. So, unless the necessary data stored on site, our chirograms won't show up. Emily and the other Bridges members you've seen around the place are... grams generated with local data. In case you didn't know. Ooh, nice suit. Anyway, all you've got to do is find the knot, connect your cupid, and bring Cairo communications online. Once you connect it to the terminal, you'll be able to initiate zero-time massive data transmission with the UCA network. And just like that, you'll reconnect us not only to each other, but to our past. Okay. All the lost and fragmented junk data will be compiled and restored. Like bringing a dinosaur back to life from a fossil. Four point six billion years of history on Earth. All the wisdom and knowledge we lost since the Death Stranding will be ours again. And that, my friend, is how we'll beat this thing. Once you establish Cairo communications, generating grams won't be an issue. You'll also be able to use Cairo printers. Won't be long before we're able to send all kinds of things through the wire. Except anything original. <laughs> or that's got a soul. Nothing real. Just copies. True. Which is why we'll still need porters like you. Before and after we're made whole, we'll need men in the middle. No rest for the wicked, huh? Yeah, well, idle hands and all that. We'll give you the details at the dispatch terminal. Make sure you check it upstairs. Drop's waiting up there too. These shoes look like they've done some serious miles. Shall I dispose of them? Wait. Hold on. There's something I want you to look into. My blood seemed to set those things off. Happened more than once. Set them off? How do you mean? I don't know. You took my blood, didn't you? You tell me. All right. I'll see what I can do. 
Hmm. It's true, they didn't they did seem freaked out when they touched it. Alright, a nice new suit. Wakey wakey baby. Nice new suit and everything. Good to go. Begin the stash. Have a pleasant journey. Sam, check the terminal for available orders. Sam, this is Die Hard. Your current objective is to extend the Cairo network from here to Port Knot City. But don't think you can make a beeline straight for it. Signal won't carry that far. To cover the distance, we need to utilize knots. Think of it like uh, tying ropes together to make a longer rope. The first of these knots is a bridge's way station. Go ahead and take a look at the order. Deliver whatever they need and connect the Cupid. All right. Order. Orders for Sam. Uh, smart drug delivery way station. All right. Sam, order summaries may contain information critical to your success. Make sure to review them before getting underway. Uh, okay. Last void out in Central Knot City brought deliveries to a standstill. Until now. Your cargo for this run is a batch of smart drugs. Oxytocin, to be precise. Oxytocin is effective at reducing stress. So much so that some folks call it a love or happy hormone. All right. Once you've completed the job, connect the way station to the network using the Cupid. Accept delivery. Load all. Sam, now we've supplied you with some rope and a ladder for this run. They should help with the steeper inclines, and the ladder will also make a halfway decent bridge if you need to cross a river. Right now, I figure you're thinking about how you want to handle this order. Head out, yes, head out. Sam, even the best porters have been known to 
lose their cargo. But you're better than the best. You've got what it takes to finish what they started. If you come across any abandoned shipments, consider taking them to their intended destination. Holy shit. It's easier than you might think. See, all our packages are tagged with Bridges IDs for easy tracking. And your Ultra deck is equipped with a scanner which might detect said IDs. Which is a roundabout way of saying that that thing on your shoulder can help you locate mislaid shipments. Let's keep going. Remember, Sam, every parcel is a promise made to a person in need, and they're counting on you to deliver. What the fuck is this? Thanks for the help. Deliver requested cargo. Uh... Good work, Sam. I see you brought in some lost cargo. Feel free to submit it here for processing. Oh, cool. If you come across any more while out on a run and don't think you can carry it to its destination, you can always put it in storage. It'll be safe and secure until another porter comes along to finish the job. Even if it has to pass through a dozen more hands before it arrives, you can rest easy knowing you did your part. Okay. All the lost cargo. So I make more points if I deliver directly myself. Oh, 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 shit. I'm gonna have to be careful not to do that again, huh? Oh, no. I have to make it. Come on, baby. Do your job. Ooh, that's a big package.
All right. Let's keep going. Calm down, calm down. Come on, nice and slowly here, nice and slowly. Okay, I'm still following the right road here. See that. Humanity had to scramble like rats fleeing a sinking ship. But there's nowhere else to go. There's no future living like this. If we're to survive, we need to find another way. A way to overcome the BTs. The death stranding, the whole damn mess. Yeah, no ship. <sighs> Woo -wee. That was a close one. At least I didn't ca get caught by anything this time. <laughs> That's unfortunate.
Grip it, grip it. That's some heavy load we got there. We're going to bring as, as heavy as we can here. Seems to be the least. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Come on, we're going to make it. What are you? Okay, though, baby. It's okay. yeah, it's all, right. all right. Oh, we can rock the baby. <laughs> it's okay, little baby. We're all good. I think we made it. Whew, that was a hard one. We almost lost a couple package here, but. made it. Delivering cargo. 
thank you. We've all been feeling the loss of Central Knot City. No one seemed to know what it meant for the organization. Or the UCA. Or us. All right. The oxytocin will take the edge off, and that'll be a big help. Won't be long before we're back on track. We may have a look. Okay, yeah. We really appreciate this. It's not ideal, but it, it's enough to keep us going. That's not a good rating. You're with the second team, right? Where are the others? Dead. Caught in the void out. No way. That one blast got them all? And what, they just sent you out on your own? I mean, if it was just a delivery, that'd be one thing. Porters come through from time to time, but... The second team was meant to bring the Cupid. They were gonna connect us up. Three years we've been waiting for help. Three years! And they sent us one guy who... Shit, shit, shit. All right, all right. Tell me you brought more than the Oxy, at least. I've got the Cupid. You... Really? So it's true. They finally got it working. Well... Then you just might be the answer to my prayers. So, what are you waiting for? But you, you put us on the goddamn grid? Connected. Fantastic. City confirmed. Fantastic. It's really happening. <laughs> Just like Amelie promised. We can finally do what we came here to do. Hey, you're headed west, right? Gonna be a lot of people happy to see you. I guess you'll keep on till you hit the coast, huh? Which means you'll get to see Amelie in person. Oh, that's something. That is really something. I... Me, I've never met her. Only seen her hollow messages back when I was with the first expedition. Well, anyway. You best be careful on the road. There's some bad people out there. More than good, some say. <laughs> but I don't need to tell you that. Thank you, Sam. By bringing that way station into the Cairo network, you've put it in direct contact with those of us back here in Capital Knot City. Right. What's next? West of the way station are a couple of structures our previous expedition put in place. And beyond them is your next destination, Port Knot City. It's on the shore of a crater lake that formed after the first void out. Your objective is to link up Port and Capital Knot. But to do that, you'll need to utilize our facilities as additional waypoints. They'll be essential for establishing a stable connection. Given the distance we need to cover, we're looking at using a distribution center and a power station. As to which you should head for first, Start with the distro center. We've got some cargo that needs delivering anyway. God damn. Check the nearby delivery terminal to pick it up. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Hmm. Alright, let's see, uh... I designated to build that post box, would you? You should have no trouble finding it if you check your map and compass from time to time. Heads up, 
up, Sam. Your cargo's been pinged. Move. Now, before someone has eyes on you. God damn it. Get to your destination ASAP if you don't want to get caught. Shit. Sam, don't get too close to mule territory unless you have to. Focus on your deliveries for now. What the fuck? goes. I'm so close to my delivery, please. Go away from it. to get let go of the, my balance for uh We're good, we're good. Ah, yay! Sunshines and buttercups. 
When the strain on your BB exceeds sustainable levels, it triggers the production of harmful compounds, and the body, in essence, begins to attack itself. It's called autotoxemia. If your BB's not performing to spec, drop by your private room and see if the incubator helps. Oh, there's a bike! Is it my bike? Can I take it now? Oh my god. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. All weapons will remain locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. Whew! We made it. Decontaminating suit. Rest is advised. Rest is advised, but the thing tells me I can't rest. Activate Tormenta Wallace. Rusty, but we made it. Wait station folks told me all about you. Sam Bridges, with the second expedition, right? The guy expanding the chiral network on his lonesome. Like he's not out making deliveries. So would you bring us? Let's see it. Talk about above and beyond. <laughs> Thanks. Must have had to pass through BT territory to get here, too, didn't you? <laughs> hey, weren't joking when they said you were a legend. <laughs> I guess I am. I can do that. We're going to do all of America, aren't we? Sam, as always, thanks for bringing more folks into the UCA. All right. All right, all right. Holy smokes. Looks like we're on the chiral network. And with those materials you brought for our chiral printer, we can produce supplies for you here as needed. Think of it as our way of returning the favor. Fantastic. Now head west and keep on doing what you do. Good. The distro center is on the network. Sam, do me a favor. Take your BB to a private room and connect it to the incubator. You will. Dead man, you there? Little help. Okay, Sam. Remove the pod and connect it to that incubator. It's 
ten. Good. Uh, a temporary excess of stress. Easily addressed if we return it to its mother's womb. Mother? Uh, located in the capital, not city, ICU. Oh, damn. Brain dead, of course. Ah, uh, you mean still mother? Correct. A still mother's womb facilitates a connection between the world of the dead and the BB. And you, in turn, connect yourself to a BB, granting you the ability to sense BTs. These pods were designed to simulate the conditions inside a still mother's womb. BBs need to believe they're in one at all times to function properly. However, we can only maintain this deception for so long, which is why we must periodically update the environmental data by synchronizing it with a still mother via the chiral network. There. The update is in progress. Right now, the pod is synchronizing with the Steel Mother in Capital Knot City Sweet. and reconfiguring its settings based on the latest data. Fantastic. Baby that has data. Returning your BB to the womb in this manner will temporarily reduce its stress levels. That being where it technically belongs, of course. Kid looks happy. I'll try adjusting the oxytocin dosage. Autotoxemia should set in much slower from now on. <sighs> uh, you should remember that BBs are just equipment. Try not to get attached. Each one has been physically removed from its steel mother's womb. A process that renders them unpredictable and prone to failure. All right. It's kind of weird. No BB on record has remained in service for over a year. Uh, it may need to be retired before this expedition is over. Mm. And then? You're saying there's no way to keep my BB alive? Uh, you must understand. There is still a great deal we don't know about BBs. As we expand the chiral network and recover more past data, Perhaps we'll find our answers. Uh, oh, right. You asked me to look into why the BTs might be reacting to your blood. I spoke with Hartman. We should have your results soon. Awesome. Fantastic. Anyway, get some rest. You and your BB are both exhausted. <sighs> Good night, Sam. Fantastic. Why do I have to connect myself like that? I don't get it. Alright. London Bridge is falling down. Falling down. Falling, falling down. down. London Bridge is falling down. My fair lady. Sam? Can you see me? How are things over there? Still not under guard. Still not chained up. Still can't leave. All right. But if you can keep making connections, if you can get to me, we can go back east, back home. Thank you. I mean that. It's bad. There are fewer and fewer people in the cities these days. No one's having children anymore. But humans aren't made for living alone. They're supposed to come together, to help one another. And if we as a people can't do that, if we can't reconnect, then, well, it's like Bridget said, 
extinction. Mm -hmm. Come on. Rebuilding America isn't going to get rid of the BTs. As long as they're still around, there's no escaping it. But at least we'll have hope. Don't touch me. I'll be waiting, Sam. Waiting for you. All right, all right. Come and find me. Hello, Sam. This is Hartman. Since you're awake, it might behoove you to freshen up. To that end, why not take a shower? It's good for the body and soul, and also my research, as it happens. Let's take a poop. <laughs> That's hilarious. Take a shower. Sam, this is Hartman. Deadman will let your request to me as I oversee BT research. I'll be taking a sample of your shower water in order to study the effects your bodily fluids might have on the BT. Study other people with dooms? Everyone in Bridges, myself and Mama. Results thus far are inconclusive. But you possess other singular qualities, being a repatriate as well. I must confess to a measure of optimism. Processing fluids, waste products, dry relic, dispensing. There. Take the sample with you. Should the opportunity arise, try using it on a BT. I'm curious to see how they react. Sweet. Who knows? It may even prove beneficial to you. There was an old research paper detailing the effects of bodily fluids from individuals like us on BTs. It is only by recovering these materials that we can unearth the knowledge of the past. Not just the Death Stranding but also the mystery of your body's unique properties and even our doom's affliction. There may well be hope for humanity. Sam, I have no interest in rebuilding America. I want to recover the past. All right. Five, oh, four, it's almost three, time. Two, one. After you make your connections and nothing happens, then what? I said, then what? Oh, he's gone. So I'm basically going to be flinging poo at them. Sam, sorry to bother you while you're taking a break, but I figured you'd want to hear this. Hell, maybe it'll help you rest easier. We received a number of messages addressed to you. I've not taken a look myself, but I gather they're mostly from your clients. You should see if they contain any useful information. All right, all right. Mail can be accessed via your cufflinks, as well as the terminal in your private room. There's something else I'd like to share with you. Okay. With the Cairo network, we now have the power to reclaim our past. Data once thought lost forever from every corner of America can be pieced back together from fragmented records. Our archives are still a work in progress, of course. But as we expand the network and integrate more way stations and cities, we'll be able to recover more and more information, such as the previous expedition's logs and reports. Everything they sent back was lost when Central Knot City was destroyed. Now we've managed to restore some already, in fact. You can access them from a private room terminal or your cufflinks by selecting archives. 
Might make for interesting reading. All right, everyone. Thank you so much, guys, for watching the Death Stranding video. I'm enjoying this game very much, so it's really good. Uh, there's a lot of little things that you have to figure out with this game, like uh, every other Hideo Kojima game, uh, Hideo Kojima game. So hopefully you'll join in the rest of the video. Hopefully I'll be able to play more of this game, uh, post more of the videos here on YouTube. And of course, we'll try to figure out what the hell's going on with everything on here. So thank you so much, guys, for watching the video. Go follow me everywhere. Me, Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and Instagram. Of course, right here on YouTube, where I post multiple videos a week. And of course, go follow me everywhere. A French-Canadian studio, uh, FR Can Studios on Twitter. I'm uh, I'm doing more, uh, game dev, so that's why I'm not as active here as is recent. Uh, I'll try to stream more, post more YouTube videos as, as much as I can, but uh, my focus is a lot on doing game development right now. You guys can go follow all that all that activity there. Uh, French Canadian Studio, I'm working on a game called Dementophobia right now. It's a uh, horror comedy slash horror, uh, slash horror comedy slash uh, escape room game. It's my first game, so I'm still, on the, it's still learning in process. Uh, right now, if you want to see development of the game, I, I post uh, weekly videos. Uh, one video, or, or I try at least one video a week to post what what I've done during the week and all that, and explain what's going on, and basically go into more of the the uh, development of the game. So thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Keep on, keep it on. Beep, beep.